How do you find support and resistance if you're beginning forex trading or you have been putting your support and resistance in the charts but the market seems still not favoring you? Hi guys, my name is Esther Moffrey and in today's video, I want to show you how to place support and resistance. Sometimes I call them kizzles in your charts that make sense that they are very, very profitable if you spot them. So if the market is on a downtrend, for instance, you need to identify the pairs that work with support and resistance. They are pairs that are ever trending and they don't put uh, they don't put uh, support resistance, but they are pairs that work very well with support and resistance or with kizzles. And one of the pairs that I have found to do that is GBP card. So guys, if you have never traded GBP card, try to look at it. See if you spot a support resistance when the market approaches those places or th those zones, now be ready to trade because GBP card has high chances when a zone is created. So we are on GBP card for our time frame. At this moment, where is the trend going or what is the trend of this uh, chart? Of course, the trend is downtrend. So you need to understand that on a downtrend, buyers will try to come in. Buyers will try to come in to change the trend. And that is our focus. On a downtrend, you want to see where did the buyers came in? What is happening? Yes, sellers are pushing the market, but don't forget about the buyers. So I'll just take my brush and try to check where buyers tried to come in. So all these people will mark this as they are uh, they are kizzles because buyers tried to come in at, at that point. But what I do, I'll just pick the latest because at this moment, if I start marking my support, and my resistance, this is what people do. That is my resistance. This can be my resistance. Uh, this is my resistance. And they, they get confused and they don't know. And then they don't know what to do. So sometimes what I do, I'll pick the last uh, struggle of buyers in this train. And you can see clearly what is, where is the last struggle. The last struggle of buyers. You can see this green small candle that is the last struggle so what i do i focus on that green candle to see if the market will react to that zone so what you do pick your rectangle box if you don't have your rectangle toolbox you have to find it on the left column so pick your rectangle box just draw a box uh and put that a green candle inside that box so you'll put that candle inside that box and then make sure it is inside that box both weeks both uh the top week and the down week and the body are inside the box then extend this box now you don't you not only you have a resistance but you have created a zone and you can see if we stretch it what is happening you can see here the market touched our zone and then you can see here there was some touching of the zone and the, this box is now uh, not only a resistance, it's now giving you even more, more information about what can happen in this market and then leave it there. So we need now to create, now we have our resistance and the time I started putting resistance in a box, now people put resistance like this, like a line. You can put line like that and the market approach and then it reaches here. It will never reach your line. Let me show you what happens. The market will reach here. It will never approach to your line and drop and you'll miss the chance to enter that trade. So the reason why I put the box is to know overall where can rejection start happening. Now I don't know about my support and that's what we'll check with you. I'll just do the play mode and then we check the support now. So if I do the play mode, immediately, um, okay, you see buyers came in and then they got rejected exactly. They got rejected exactly under the box. So if you had put your line like that, if we just put the line like that and this box was not there, we could not know why the box, uh, where the buyers just got rejected. And this is a very bullish candle. It's a very bullish candle. So we could not know why did they get rejected. But with our box, we, we understand that it is a zone and the market has touched the zone. So 
now let's see if we can identify a, a, a support a level we can see the buyers the, the sellers came in tried to push the market were unable the, uh, the the buyers took the market up now the sellers so what i do i'll just take a line put in there at the end of the last week i hope you're following i put that line there at the end and i play if it breaks we still don't have a support if it gets rejected now i have support and a support zone so let's see what happens you see that rejection the market the price is trying to break this line but it can't now we try again until we have a blue candle now that one it can't so what do you do now i think we have a support zone so what you do pick the box where the the the, the first body is and extend so we will extend our line so remove that line now we have our support zone so we want to see if we have our support zone, can we be now making money between these two zones? Because if a zone is created and it's not broken, it creates a channel. So when a, uh, when a, a place creates a channel, you can either buy or you can sell. So we say we buy at this. This is our buy, buy place. So that's our resistance. So we will buy at support and sell at resistance so let's do our first trade because i want to show you how it done immediately the market comes at the zone you can even go to lower time frame to look for an entry so our our market is there we are just targeting the 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 beginning of the box don't target at the end of the box no we will target the beginning of the box and our stop loss will be 10 pips away from the box 10 pips away from the box there 10 pips away from the box so let's see what happens if the the market will approach uh upwards so there we were almost getting stopped out but the market approached so you can see the reason why i did 10 pips away from the box is because sometimes the market will tend to come and stop you out and you can see clearly we were never stopped out because you just use the atl i speak about atl to know you can see it was almost you are almost getting stopped out it was remaining how many pips six pips for you to get stopped out but the market approached our take profit perfectly so whenever the market is at that place all we can all we want to see is the market getting to this zone again so that we can sell all back so at this moment you can go to lower time frame or to to get an entry so let's see if we go to 15 minutes what we have So let's go let's go to our four hour and see what is happening the minute the market now approaches our zone you can see now our market is on our key zone the market is inside the key zone now you can prepare to buy again what i can tell you is the minute the market uh the market breaks the box all you need to do it is to adjust just adjust to those weeks adjust to those weeks and then you can buy off that market so guys i hope this video was helpful that's the that's how you 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 spot your support and resistance and i want now to play until the end of this market to see if the if it respected those zones because the purpose of this video it was to show you how the zones is respected so let me play and see what happened did the zone break so let's see what happens so you can see clearly the market has been playing on the zone so if you're on a lower time frame you can make money just by identifying your resistance and your support thank you so much guys for watching until next time bye bye